welcome. Today, guys, I'm going to be making for you all some garlic mashed potatoes. Now, to make this, I'm going to be roasting off the garlic, and I'm going to be doing this on my stove, or you can do this in your oven. Um, if you didn't want to roast the garlic, you can put it together with the potatoes to boil, and that's another way to do it. But today, I'm going to be roasting it off. So keep in mind, if you wanted to boil the garlic in the potato, you can. So to the garlic, and I have one whole head of garlic in there, I'm going to add some olive oil and some salt. I'm going to close this pouch up. You want to close it really tight. So I put it onto my element here because I have an electric stove. You can put this over um, a wire rack on your gas burner like when you're roasting tomatoes or bygan. And I'm going to put this on low heat and I'm going to allow it to cook until that garlic in there is very soft and tender. Okay, so while we're waiting for the garlic to roast, here I have the potatoes. I scrubbed the skin really well and I cut it up and I put it into a pot with tap water. To this, I'm going to add some salt. If you wanted to remove the skin from the potato, you can. And if you wanted to use a brown skin potato or you wanted to use the multicolored potatoes, you can. So to this, I'm just going to put the heat up on medium and I'm going to allow the potatoes to come up to a boil and get tender. Okay, I'm just going to go in and check on the garlic. It's been five minutes. And the garlic is very tender. So I'm just going to take this off and set it aside. And I'm going to leave the pouch closed. And we're going to wait on the potatoes to finish boil. The potatoes are done. I'm going to drain them. And return them to the same pot before we continue. Okay, so to the potatoes, I'm going to put in the roasted garlic. Make sure you get all of that oil in there because that oil will have a lot of flavor. Now, what I'm going to do is take my potato masher and mash this up. And you mash it up to the consistency that you would like. When you finish mashed potatoes, you're going to add in some butter. And I'm using salted butter for this. I'm going to go in with a little bit of black pepper. And a little bit of salt. Just a pinch. You'll always adjust salt at the end. Now you're going to give this a mix. Now if you wanted to make this cheesy, creamier, you can add some sour cream or some mascarpone cheese together with um, your favorite um, cheese that melts really well, like a Gruyere or mozzarella or pepper jack. I'm just going to add in a little bit of whole milk to this. So here you have it, my recipe for roasted garlic mashed potatoes. I really didn't want to add too much to this to take away from the flavor of that garlic. So if you guys enjoyed today's recipe, please remember to give the video a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!